I think a lot of bridal gowns are just really redundant, and I think they need to be more exciting than they already are. They just become so traditional. So Matthew Redding, a student in the Wash and Wear Electronics course at the Maryland Institute College of Arts, or MICA, created this bridal gown. He's sewn washable microcontrollers called lily pad Arduinos onto the dress. The red thing? You can use it to program lights and motors and different sensors that um, react to motion and light and temperature. The blue things, those are servo motors. They're tiny motors that can be um, programmed with the li lily pad and they um, move back and forth or around and you can do different kind of kinetic applications with it. Redding's classmate, Veronica Olson, focused on more functional applications. She designed a jacket that she says monitors the wearer's stress level. A skin response sensor attached to the sleeve measures the conductivity of the sweat glands. I programmed it in this microprocessor that when it, your body reaches a, a certain level of stress, it turns on an audio player that then plays through the headphones and it plays binaural beats which are used to calm you down. Artist Annette Kornberg is a professor in MICA's fiber department. She developed the Smart Textiles Research Lab two years ago to combine traditional craftsmanship with 21st century technology. I think it's the future. We all um, know that um, technology and gadgets are getting smaller, that they get more flexible, that they um, are really now being integrated into the textiles and it will have a tremendous um, influence on how we're going to see where art and technology and fashion are going to meet. Tabor Baranti's idea of future innovative fashion incorporates fabric that can change color. It really, it's dynamic so you can, if you decide, oh hey I want to wear a red dress today, you can change it from a green dress to a red dress just based on the programming with the microprocessor. Sasha DeConnick is exploring fibers and sound. She wants to use fabric that can conduct electricity to create a performance garment that makes music. You play the conductive thread with a spoon and the pressure that you place on the fabric with the spoon changes these numbers which controls the volume. Nola Yuan made an LED studded leather jacket. It is more of a fun garment, she says, she could wear to a party. All the students have done is right now is making prototypes. So the prototypes is really the stage where they're at. But Annette Kornberg says smart textiles have a wide range of practical applications and the potential to revolutionize the fashion industry. For producer June So, I'm Carol Pearson, VOA News.